All right, y'all, so Megan Thee Stallion got on IG Live to do some dragging, some much-needed dragging. Uh, she's setting the record straight, as she should, and it was glorious. So I decided, why not? Let's talk about it. Let's kick you about it. Let's get into it. People Magazine said Megan Thee Stallion has had enough. On Wednesday, she went off on her ex on Instagram Live after you appeared on an episode of Angela Yee's Lip Server. I didn't know Party was a <laughs> Angela, girl. <laughs> anyway, he was on Angela's show, girl. I didn't even know that shit. And uh, denied that he was unfaithful, though he admitted to an inappropriate interaction over text during their relationship. Honestly, I'm just like, girl, why even bring it up? Like, if it was, if it was inappropriate, it was inappropriate. Like, girl, <laughs> anyway. I, I just, you can't trust these Nick Nogs as far as you can throw their ass. That's just it. Um, Megan said, it seems like every time I take a step forward to heal and do something different, MFers be like, no, come back. Get your ass back to this negativity. Come back this way. You're not supposed to be smiling right now. Um, she said, if this man is saying I didn't cheat on her, I didn't do that. Well, then why are you responding to me? Uh, do you know how many niggas y'all claim I done effed with? Why are you answering? Why are you trying to make that shoe fit? Was it you getting your dick sucked in the same spot I was sleeping? If you said it wasn't you, why the hell are you dissing me? Like, what the F is going on? Why are you talking to me? If you said I wasn't talking to you, I wasn't talking to you. You just wanted to F and find a reason to bash me. It seems very strategic. So we already know the lyrics that she rapped in Cobra. Um, which led to this whole thing in the first place. And honestly, she's right. Like, if she didn't say your name in this song, right? If she did not say your name, if she just said what happened to her, you know what I mean? If she said this, she caught some nigga cheating in uh, the same spot that she's sleeping, right? Some nigga, and y'all always talk about, oh, Megan with this person, Megan with that person, she doing this, she doing that. She. So it's just like, I didn't specify you. I didn't call your name out, uh, but you're hollering. And you know what? That's what hit dogs do. That's what hit dogs do. So you fell right into her trap. Cause honestly, and even it wasn't even no trap to begin with, but I'm just like, yeah, since you see it that way, you fell into her trap. Because you could have just not acknowledged this song as a whole. You could have kept you could have kept it pushing. Especially if she didn't fucking mention your name in that song. You could have just been like, okay, well, girl, it wasn't me, and that's it. And you know, even though we all know she talk about your silly ass. <laughs> you know, even though we all know. Um, she didn't say your name, and here comes this hit dog hollering, right? Meanwhile, Party recently appeared on Lip Service to talk about his new song, The Person, <laughs> where he called out Megan after she accused him of infidelity on Cobra. Um, I remember he said, I'm not talking to Megan the Stallion or some shit like that. I'm speaking to Megan the person. And I'm just like, wow, these are very whack ass bars. Like this is, I mean, you can't even call it no goddamn bar. Like I said on Twitter, we got to call it a Kit Kat bar. Cause your ass need a goddamn break, bitch. Corny, oh, I'm talking to Megan the person. Girl, if you don't move the hell out my face. <laughs> uh, he said, it was not my intention. Uh, it was just something I felt like I had to do. The more and more her song sat with me, I was like, I don't like this. I don't like the way I'm being portrayed. I don't like people not knowing the whole story. And I'm just like, girl, if you don't like the way you're being portrayed, then why you do the shit? I don't, <laughs> I don't The niggas be cheating. Niggas be cheating and lying and abusing. And then when somebody come out here and say, hey, this motherfucker was cheating. Or, you know, in another scenario, this motherfucker's lying and abusing. Like the motherfucker, then the niggas come out here talking about, oh, well, girl, I can't believe that this person would um, portray me in this light. Girl, you're the one who did the shit. What do you want us to do? <laughs> What do you want us to do, girl? You're the one who did it, mama. You're the one who did it. Um, so when asked if he was unfaithful to the rapper, uh, Party said, oh, that's not what happened at all. And this is my thing, right? Is hiding text messages cheating on your partner? If it's something that you have to hide from your partner, is it cheating? In that regard, I say I cheated. Inappropriate, correct? Right? But the way it was pinned, it had me so mad. So Party, you just saying a bunch of nothing. Like this person just get on Angela Yee stuff, which I mean, you know, if you want to say a bunch of nothing, I guess that's the place you go. <laughs> Let me stop, girl. But you know what I mean? Like you, oh, well, is hiding things from your partner's lying? Is is being, you know, sneaky, cheating? Like, girl, what do you want us to say? No, it's not. <laughs> what do you want us to, what, party, what you want us to say, bro? Like, yeah, hiding shit and, and, and lying and, and, and hiding text messages and, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what you, you thought we was going to be on your side. <laughs> Okay, anyway.
anyway, so in another, in a separate recording, Megan went off about Kelsey Harris, her former best friend, former assistant, whatever, and denied that she was the one who shot her in the foot after an alleged statement by rapper Tory Lanez's bodyguard went viral on social media saying that, oh, Kelsey was the one with the gun, blah, 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 blah. Megan said this, Kelsey didn't shoot me. Uh, and I really wonder why her only problem with me was you didn't tell people I didn't shoot you. I was like, Kelsey, I don't want to talk about this on social media at all, but now you won't even get on social media and defend yourself. That really just proves my point. Either you took some money or your life uh, is in danger, girl. You should have said, I didn't do it. Her comments directed at Harris come after a long trial against Lanes. We already know this. During the trial, Kelsey Harris's weird ass uh, who was present the night of the shooting, obviously pleaded the fifth and never said who shot Megan. So it's just like, girl, y'all are really grasping at straws. Um, Mr. Stonehenge Teeth himself, Mr. You know, Gigantic Dentures himself is currently in jail because a whole entire trial happened where they gathered evidence and girl, they came to that conclusion. All the evidence pointed to that fucking conclusion. And guess what? I want to reiterate that the state was the one who brought these charges, not fucking Megan. I want y'all to know that. Uh, reiterate that shit. Now, uh, she also said, I know who shot me. I said who shot me. And that's why they in jail right now. That's what she said on live uh, about Tory Lane. She said, y'all defending someone who didn't get on the stand and defend themselves. Imagine someone saying they didn't commit a crime and not defending themselves to the T. And that was one of my main issues with Tory Lane's weird bowling ball shaped head ass. Um, because it's just like, if you're being accused, if you're saying that you didn't do this shit vehemently, you're saying that you didn't do this shit. Why not take, why not get your ass up on that stand and, and talk, talk your shit, girl. Talk your shit, girl. You want to know the type of people they, the, them lawyers tell not to go on the goddamn stand. People like Donald Trump who did the shit. You everybody know he did the shit. And, and as soon as the cross starts, as soon as they start pressing his ass on the stand, bitch, he gonna, he gonna spill his beans, bitch, his ego. So like, girl, if you didn't do, you should have taken the motherfucking stand. Girl, we already seen the shit. We already know this. I'm not rehashing the shit. We already know the shit. We've been through the shit. Right. I love how in her life she also said, uh, read a real article. Don't read the big bold. Don't read the, the stuff from them big bold letters. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Cause child, you already know all black, all a lot of black people need to believe some shit is a meme with a bold headline on it and a big ass TSR letters in the side, in the corner. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> them big ass, that big ass TSR, uh, acronym at the top. That's all they need to believe some shit. Sis said, but Megan said, Y'all hoes need to find a real article and read stuff from real journalists, okay? And I couldn't agree more. Uh, I also want to talk about, because earlier in the article, she said, it seems like every time I take a step forward to heal and do something different, people be like, no, come back, get your ass back to this negativity. And so I wanted to tie this into something else that she had said, because she also talked about how she earlier on, she was crashing out, drinking a lot like wearing her heart on her sleeve. She felt like nobody was really stopping her from crashing out or like, you know, trying to help her see something from a different perspective because, you know, they with the shits. They ready to drive the boat. Like it's making the stay. Like they ready to go out. Like she said, she basically, I'm paraphrasing, but she said she basically had nobody in her corner, like nobody around her saying like, let's chill out. Let's chill tonight. Let's do something different. Um, but then she said she went and got help. She got the therapy or whatever. She realized she has to love herself more because she wasn't. Um, and when she started that process, when she did that, certain people are no longer around her anymore. You know, uh, she says she cleaned house. And of course, like I said, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but essentially she was just like, I don't have any bad blood with the people I used to hang out with, uh, people I used to chill with. But essentially she was saying, you know, she ain't in that era of her life anymore. Right. So she's like, I'm trying to improve myself, better myself. And these, <laughs> these, these motherfuckers. <laughs> These bitches trying to kill me. These hoes trying to take me out. Like, you know what I mean? But yeah, I love to see Megan drag it every time. Every time. Because I'm like, this, <laughs> this shit that y'all be doing and saying don't be making no sense. That's why I'm so happy she told y'all to read a real article and, and read something from real journalists instead of these weird ass blog blog posts and shit. And, you know, messy ass sites that don't want to cite. They, they, they don't want to cite an article. They, want, they don't want to, you know, cite a real journalist. They don't want to. To give you court documents. They don't want to show you nothing. They don't want to show you nothing. They just want to run with bullshit narratives. Um, but like I said, y'all going to have to go and get that strike, spare, bowling. I'm t 
bowling. You see what I'm saying? He knocking down all the pins with that forehead. I'm telling you now. And I'm speaking as somebody with a big ass forehead myself, girl. I could do the same, but I'm just telling you, like he he knocking down them pins with that that noggin. All right. And then when he's done, he's gonna chomp them up with them Ten Commandments stone tablet teeth. Okay. I'm t I'm get his y'all gonna have to get him his ass out of there yourself like i said read a real like she said read a real article make sure your head is screwed on straight because some of y'all i feel like is a little lopsided tell your favorite male rappers and artists or whatever to stop abusing women stop shooting women up especially black oh my goodness black women their own community yeah tell them to stop being weirdos and maybe then they won't be so easily sent to trunch bulls chokey on that note thank you so much for watching love y'all so much and make sure that you have a good Goddamn, he's just like Rufus. You can't betray the pussy like Judas. You can't betray the pussy like Brutus. You can't play with a new pussy. Who this? No man, no man, no man. You don't even know me, no man.